we are going to learn how to write our, our equation of the parabola with given endpoints of the lattice rectum. We are given here the endpoints of the lattice rectum is at 2, 3, and negative 2, 3. So again, you can use graphing in here. By graphing or plotting those endpoints here, we would know the orientation of our parabola. So we've got 2, 3, so we have 2 here on the x-axis, moving up to th where your y, which is 3, and getting the intersection of that one, that will be our point, or the endpoint of that particular uh, lattice rectum. The other endpoint, we are going also to plot that one here. So plotting that one here, we've got negative 2 on the x-axis, and then we've got 3 on the y-axis, again, that is our endpoint of the lattice rectum. So in writing our standard equation of the parabola, all we have to do is to identify first the opening, and then later on we are to identify our h, our k, and our a. So going back to where, or to our graph, I mean the, the Cartesian plane there, we have the endpoints at negative 2, 3, and 2, 3. So once you are going to look for the vertex, because we need to look for the HK and so with the opening, all we have to do is to identify that the focus here, or identify the focus. So our focus here is found um, in the middle of our endpoints because the distance between focus and the endpoints is equivalent to 2A. And the total distance from one endpoint to another endpoint is or A. So if we've got here, uh, from this point here to that point, if we want to count our number of units, so we have w from this endpoint here, one, two, three, and four. So there are four units from this endpoint to that endpoint there. So that four units, that is equivalent to our 4A, or that is what we call as the focal width or the length of the lattice rectum. So if we wanted to look for the focus and the vertex, because we cannot look for the vertex without the focus in there, so what we are going to do is to solve for A because our endpoint towards the focus is equivalent to 2A, so we need to know what is our A. So we justify this one by 4, and so without 1, our A here is equivalent to 1. So our A is 1, so once we are going to look for our um, 2a, so we just have to multiply 2 to our a, so we've got 2 times 1, that is 2. So 2a will be 2, so we will be counting from one endpoint here to 2 units, and that will be our focus. So from here, we've got 1, 2, so this will be where our focus is. Now if you want to start here, you can also count 2 units to identify the focus. So our focus is is where the coordinate which is on x here, we've got a zero, and then on y here, we've got a three. So that is our focus. Now once we're done with identifying the focus, we can now identify our vertex. So vertex here is one unit from the focus because our a here is equal to one. So we count from the focus down one unit. So we have here from here, we have this one as our vertex. So the vertex here is with coordinate, which is 0 and then um, 2. So there you go with our focus and the vertex. So let's now name our opening or name our opening there. So for the given endpoints of the lattice rectum, our opening might be upward and some others might be uh, to the right. Now here, because what we can see there is the focus is at the top, so, and then the endpoints there of the lattice rectum is um, giving us a horizontal orientation because this one here, if you try to look at that one, and this one, if you try to connect, if you try to identify really our endpoints or the lattice rectum itself, because when you say lattice rectum, that is a line segment which passes through the focus. So this will be our lattice rectum. 
if you try to look at the latus rectum there, that is horizontally oriented. So once you are going to look for the opening of that one, so we have a vertical opening for that one. And we are to pick on our um, upward opening. So this is up. And then we've got an H. So we have there the vertex as 0, 2. H is 0, while K is equal to 2. Our A there, we've obtained that one here by solving. So we've got that one as 1. So since we have all those information, so we are now going to write our standard equation of the parabola. So since that is upward, we have that one as x minus h squared. That will be equal to 4a times y minus k. So plugging in, so we've got x minus our h there is 0, and then we square. That will be equal to 4 times a, which is 1 times y minus our k, which is 2. Simplifying, this is now x minus 0, that's an x. And then we are to write squared. So we've got x squared equal to 4 times 1, that's 4, times y minus 2. So this is now our standard equation of our parabola. So let us now go for another example here. So we've got endpoints again of the lattice rectum is at 0, negative 2, and 0, 4. So if we are going to plot that one here, 0, negative 2, since our x is 0, we will be tracing that point there on our y-axis. So we just locate the value on the y-axis, which is negative 2, and that will be our location of one endpoint. The other endpoint there is 0, 4. So again, our x is 0, so we just have to trace the y-axis and look for the number 4. So we've got that one here. So we've got those endpoints. Next step is for us to identify what is our 4a. 4a is the length of the lattice rectum. So if you wanted to have the 4a there, all you have to do is to count from one endpoint to another endpoint. So we have here, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. There are 6 units from one endpoint to another endpoint. And that is our A. I mean 4A. Now next, our aim here is for us to identify our um, opening, our vertex, the H and the K, and so with our A. So all we have to do is to look first for our A by simply dividing this one by 4, and so with this one, so our A here is equal to 6 fourth, or this is equal to getting the common factor for that one, which is 2, so this will be now 3 over 2. Our A there is 3 over 2, or this is 1.5. So since we have our A here as 1.5 or 3 halves, the next thing for us to do is to find our 2A. Now, the reason here is that we wanted to know the, ver fo the, the location of the focus here by simply getting our 2A. Because the distance from one endpoint to focus is equivalent to 2A. So we just multiply our A here by 2. So we have 2 times 1.5. This is equivalent to 3. So our 2A is 3. So all we have to do is to count from one endpoint three units until we get to the focus. So from here, if we start with this one here, the 0, 4, we count 1, 2, 3. So this is where our focus is located. So our focus is at 0, 1. So next thing is for us to identify the location of the vertex because in writing our standard equation, we need the vertex and so with the A. So from the focus there, we will be counting a unit towards our vertex. Our a there is 1.5. So from here, we have 1 and then 1.5. So this is where our vertex is located. And once you are given the endpoints of the lattice rectum, we always have to do our, our right side. So we now identify the important parts or important information that we need in writing our standard equation of the parabola. So let's start with the opening. So the opening for this one is to the right, and then we have our h equivalent to our vertex here, by the way, the coordinate of that one is 
we've got that one here on x, which is negative 1.5, and then we have 1 as your y. So going back to identifying our h, our h is negative 1.5, our k is 1, and our a there is 1.5. So let's now write our opening of the, I mean the standard equation of the parabola. So since that is to the right, then that means to say we have y minus k and then squared. That will be equal to 4a times x minus h. So plugging in, we've got that one as y minus. Our k is 1 and then squared. That will be equal to 4 times 1.5, which is our a, times x minus our h, which is negative 1.5. Simplifying that one, we've got y minus 1 squared. That will be equal to 4 times 1.5. That is equal to 6. And then we've got times x plus 1.5. So that is now our standard equation of this parabola given the endpoints of the lattice rectum. So I hope that you've learned something for this video's discussion. So I'll see you on my next video, everyone.